Pfizer says a vaccine candidate to fight against COVID-19 is showing to be more than 90% effective. And there have been trials all over the country, and as we know, right here in the triangle for this vaccine. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman live in Raleigh at one of them. And Bridget, this is gigantic news. <laughs> very much so and wake research here is one of the places conducting these trials i found out just how big this is for the medical community but also the future of covid 19. george washington the third knows the wrath of covid 19 too well although he and his brother survived having it his father did not too many people have already had to suffer through this which is why he's relieved to hear progress is being made with a vaccine to think that um, families won't have to endure the pain the suffering the 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 loss that um, my family went through um, all the better. Pfizer announced a vaccine candidate is showing to be more than 90% effective in preventing COVID-19. The study enrolled nearly 44,000 people with diverse backgrounds. Researchers then analyzed 94 participants with the virus. Yeah, that's fantastic news. Uh, you know, it's as good a first step as we could have hoped for, I think, realistically. Dr. Thomas Holland with Duke University says the 90% effective rate may change as more participants are followed. Duke is one of several places conducting COVID-19 vaccine trials, including this one for Pfizer. Almost the most promising thing to come out of the news today is is the evidence that a vaccine can work. At Heat Biologics in Research Triangle Park, they're also working on a vaccine to combine with one like Pfizer's to generate a more robust immune response. Provide an extra layer of protection, especially for those patients who need it most. Dr. Jeff Wolf says they plan to start a clinical trial in 2021. You know, I think the progress that the industry has made has been really incredible. An industry working to keep others from having to go through what the Washington family did. Based on the rate that they're going, the Pfizer vaccine could be used on people within two to three months. Now, one thing one of the doctors did point out to me today is that the vaccine needs to be kept in freezing temperatures, so that could be difficult during the distribution process. Reporting 11 Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News. All right, Bridget, thanks for that. And the chairman and CEO of Pfizer releasing this statement about the vaccine, saying, quote, this means we are one step closer to potentially providing people around the world with a much-needed breakthrough to help bring an end to this global pandemic.